17 days ago, Kamala Harris broke through centuries worth of American obstacles, officially becoming the first woman, the first woman of color, the first woman of South Asian heritage, the first graduate of an historically black college and university, and the first black woman vice president of the United States of America. Whether or not you share her politics, who she embodies is the future of our country, one that is growing ever more racially diverse. But Harris's history-making years started before her swearing-in ceremony, when after becoming just the second black woman to serve in the Senate, she announced her plans to seek the Democratic nomination for president. Harris launched her candidacy on MLK Day in 2019, and when she did, she used a, a familiar but subtle red and yellow lettering and logo reminiscent to the one used by Shirley Chisholm, the first black woman elected to Congress in 1968 and the first woman to seek the Democratic presidential nomination in 1972. Chisholm's run for president fell short, but her impact on women, specifically women of color in politics and culture, was and is significant. Shirley Chisholm entered Congress in 1969, representing New York's 12th district. Only three years later did she do what the late John Lewis might have referred to as getting into good and necessary trouble, when she chose once again to disrupt the political landscape by running for president. For Chisholm, it was a familiar long-shot campaign that she mostly financed with her own credit card. But it was much more than a symbolic gesture. And her slogan, unbought and unbossed, was far more than just words for a campaign poster. She lived those words while breaking barriers for women, specifically black women, telling them all, quote, if they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. And for Chisholm, who encountered sexism and racism her entire life and certainly experienced and spoke about it in her political life, none of it deterred her from the bigger mission of embracing her history, who she was, and working toward change. Historian, author, and the inspiration and founder behind Black History Month, Carter Woodson, spoke of the importance of black history, saying, quote, we are going back to that beautiful history and it is going to inspire us to greater achievements. A year before Chisholm's death, she echoed that sentiment when summarizing her own life, saying, quote, I want history to remember me not just as the first black woman to be elected to Congress, not as the first black woman to have made a bid for the presidency of the United States, but as a black woman who lived in the 20th century and dared to be herself. I want to be remembered as a catalyst for change in America. In that, Shirley Chisholm has succeeded. And in Kamala Harris, she can see the success of the roads that she helped pave. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.